Your PC was working fine yesterday and when you power on your PC today, you see this. Reboot and select proper boot drive. We'll give you an easy fix and tell you what is the cause of this problem. Everything you need to know, coming up. Hey what's up guys, it's Mac here and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's begin. So basically the reason that's why you are seeing this reboot and select proper boot drive is because your system was unable to detect your boot drive where you installed your windows or it detected other drives you have in your PC as a boot drive where it should not. We're going to talk more about the reasons later but for now, let's fix your PC. After saying this, press Ctrl Alt Delete on your keyboard or simply press Reset button on your chassis to restart your PC. While it is loading, continuously press Delete so that you could enter BIOS. Once we are in the BIOS, go to Boot and under the Boot Priorities, select the drive where you installed Windows. As for me, I will choose Kingston because that is my M.2 and that's where I installed Windows. Your BIOS may be different than mine, depending on the motherboard you got, but the idea of the boot priority settings are the same. After selecting the proper boot drive, just save the settings and exit the BIOS. Your PC will restart and will now boot to the drive you have chosen in the BIOS. If the drive you selected was correct, then you are good to go. If not, just redo the process again and choose the correct drive this time. If this solution works for you, please let us know in the comments section below. Now let's talk about the cause of this problem. Well, the only reason I could think of is that your boot drive is not plugged in all the way. I'm talking about the SATA and the power cable from your power supply for both SSD and hard drive. For M.2, once you screw it out, I don't think it will go anywhere. So it's very rare for M.2 to have been the cause of this problem if you are using M.2 or you just recently installed a new drive in your PC, then eventually your motherboard detected it as a boot drive. This happened at times and there's no need to worry because nothing is broken. You just need to set your SSD or M.2 as boot priority. That is all. If you got any questions, I'll do my best to answer them all. Just write them down in the comment section below. So that's it guys, this is Mac and I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If it does, make sure you give us a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.